30 plot hound facts every owner should know. Number 1. Plot hounds, originally from North Carolina, are medium to large sized dogs famous for their remarkable hunting skills. They have a strong, sturdy body and a unique brindle colored coat. Plot hounds are great at tracking and chasing animals, making them perfect partners for hunters in various terrains. Number 2. In 1750, two German brothers made their way to America, but tragically, one of them passed away during the journey. The surviving brother, 16 year old Johannes George Plot, eventually found his way to Butte County, North Carolina, where he began developing the breed of hounds that would later bear his family's name and be called the Plot Hound. Number 3. The Plot Hound's lineage can be traced back to a group of five Hanoverian Swiss Hunds brought to America by Johannes Plot, a German immigrant. These dogs were then crossed with various other breeds, likely including Bloodhounds and other European scent hounds to develop the distinctive characteristics of the Plot Hound. Number 4. The Plot Balsams, a mountain range in North Carolina, are named for the Plot family. Johannes Plot settled in the mountains, where he raised a family and hunted bears with his hounds. Number 5. The Hanoverian, a brindle or red-colored big game tracker, were used for boar hunting in Germany. They were developed by crossing an ancient huge trailing hound much like the St. Hubert with a lighter and faster hound, and it is still a favorite with German gamekeepers. Number 6. In Germany, the dogs had been used as boar hounds, but North Carolina had bears, and that's what Johannes Plot trained his dogs to hunt. His son Henry bred the family pack to local stock and produced a big game hunter known as the Plot's Hound. Number 7. These hounds spread throughout the Smoky Mountains, with each hunter adding his own touch to the breed, and eventually returned to their roots by being used to hunting wild boars in addition to bears. Number 8. Johannes Plot supposedly kept his strain entirely pure, making no outcrosses, and in 1780, the Plot Hound pack passed into the hands of his son, Henry Plot. Number 9. After many generations, the Plot Hounds needed an outcross. A Plot breeder named Gola Ferguson carefully chose another well-respected family hound, the tan black saddle. Blevin Hound and made the cross. Two of the resulting progenies were also exceptional, and when Ferguson bred them back to his pure plots, the breed was revitalized. Number 10. Some members of the Plot family even used these dogs in their breeding program, and because of this cross between Plot Hound and Blevin Hound, some Brindle Plot Hounds have a black saddle. Number 11. Since the Plot Hounds have their origins in North Carolina, on August 12th of 1989, the Plot Hound was officially named as a state dog by the General Assembly of North Carolina. Number 12. Plot Hounds are still relatively rare. However, they are most commonly found in the mountainous regions of Appalachia, the Smoky Mountains, and other remote areas of the country where their hunting skills are appreciated. Number 13. At the May 2006 board meeting, the plot became eligible to compete in the hound group, effective from January 1, 2007. Number 14. The plot hound breed was registered by the United Kennel Club in 1946. It wasn't until 2006 that they were recognized by the American Kennel Club, and now they're gradually making their debut in the show ring. Number 15. Did you know that plot hounds are highly regarded for their amazing talent in tracking animals, even when the scent trail is over a week old? Well, this exceptional ability to follow scents is the reason why they are classified as scent hounds. Number 16. Plot hounds' distinctive music during tracking is characterized by a loud ringing chop sound on the trail and at the tree where the game is treed. However, ball or squall sounds from their mounts while trailing are also considered acceptable. Number 17. Plot hounds are great hunting partners because they're skilled at treeing game. This means they're experts at chasing animals like raccoons or squirrels up trees, and they patiently wait there until hunters arrive to make the catch. Number 18. Of the seven breeds of the United Kennel Club registered coonhounds, the plot hound is the only one that does not trace its ancestry to the foxhound. Number 19. The plot hound does not trace its ancestry to the foxhound because it was developed from different ancestral lines. While both the foxhound and the plot hound belong to the broader hound group and share some similarities in appearance and purpose as hunting dogs, their breeding histories diverge. Number 20. The foxhound originated in England and was selectively bred for hunting foxes. It descends from various English scent hounds such as the Southern Hound and the North Country Beagle, which were bred specifically for their fox hunting abilities. Number 21. A coon hound is a scent hound belonging to the hound group. They earned their name due to their proficiency in hunting raccoons. And in fact, the plot hound is primarily known as a big game hound rather than a coon hound. An enthusiast of the breed often expressed that it's almost considered inappropriate to use a plot for coon hunting. It's believed that the breed's exceptional skills and heritage in hunting larger games such as bears and wild boars are better suited to their capabilities. Number 22. Acknowledged for more than just their hunting abilities, plot hounds are also recognized as versatile and devoted working dogs. Number 23. Cherished by hunters for their unique skills, the Plot Hound stands apart from other coon hounds. Their distinctive short brindle or black with brindle coat make them the only one known for hunting larger game.
Number 24. It's also important to remember plot hounds have a powerful sense of smell and all the instincts that come with it. They can get super curious about a scent and be quite distracted while in walks. Number 25. In modern times, the plot hound has become more than just a hunter and state symbol. They're also used in police departments and as service dogs. Number 26. The plot hound is generally a healthy breed but could be susceptible to hip displeasure, bloat, and gastric torsion, which occurs when the stomach becomes distended with gas and then twists, cutting off blood flow to the stomach and potentially other organs. Number 27. On average, male plot hounds are about 20 to 25 inches tall at the shoulders, while females are slightly smaller, standing around 20 to 23 inches. Male plot hounds also tend to be heavier, weighing between 50 and 60 pounds, while females typically weigh between 40 and 55 pounds. Number 28. Plot hounds have coats with a mix of striped patterns called brindle. These stripes come in various shades like black, orange, gold, and russet, sometimes with solid colors mixed in. Some plot hounds also have markings or a saddle pattern on their coat. Number 29. These hounds have medium-length ears that hang elegantly. Additionally, their striking black noses, eye rims, and lips make them look strong and intimidating. Number 30. Having ears that extend beyond the tip of the nose or hang in a long, pendulous manner like a bloodhound is considered undesirable in a plot hound and goes against the breed standard set up by the AKC. Alright guys, now which of these plot hound facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.